Sun. Welcome to the School of Violin Artistry. In this video, we're going to study the Kaiser Etude number 15. It's obviously about perfecting your trill. It's also about making a graceful, unified whole out of each group, which includes the trill, the ending of the trill, and the next note that constitutes one unit. It's also about developing agility, and also about developing your sense of timing. I feel that the most natural bowing pattern for this etude is like this. Down, up, down, up. Strong, weak. Motion and repose. There's a very slight lift of the bow on the up bow. Then the bow starts the next group, very slightly above the string. We don't want to set the bow like this. And we certainly don't want to make it all connected like this. There's a staccato marking on the last note, but even if it weren't marked staccato, we'd do it that way anyway. That's part of good taste and good musicianship. It's part of your violin artistry. Now, let's turn the metronome on to 92 and get into the swing of it. Feel the lilt of the rhythm. It pulls you in, in a gentle way. The dotted eighth and sixteenth note figure fits right in without disturbing the pulse. ending of the trill needs to be clearly heard, and it needs to connect smoothly to the next note. There shouldn't be any hesitation like this, and there should be no accent on the next note. Don't do this. Here's the right way again. You might want to practice it with this bowing. That helps to feel the continuity and get a smooth connection, then back to the real bowing. You need to be able to start the trill either from the main note from the upper note. I advise you to practice it both ways. Starting from the upper note may seem difficult and unnatural at first, but it's a skill that you need. In Baroque music, such as Bach and Handel, trills start from the upper note. Also in music of the classical period, which includes Mozart and Haydn and early Beethoven. In order to get the feel of the rhythm, you can start practicing like this. Then we can add another pair of notes. Then we just let the trill go. Right finger pressure, especially the lower finger, and fingers close to the string. Now, let's do the same routine with the trill starting from the upper note. Here's the first step. Add 
getting another pair of notes. The middle section is a nice opportunity to practice a rather heavy spiccato. The first step is to learn the notes with an ordinary detaché bowing. Then we add the spiccato. And we experiment and refine the spiccato. It should sound forceful and energetic, maybe even a little rough. But not so rough that it becomes ugly. That's where we use our sensitivity to find just the right sound. I would eliminate the slurs in measure 31 and 32. Now, the last step for this middle section is to add shape and nuance. That's about it for this etude. Please leave a comment or a question, and please enjoy your practice.